going on everybody? It's Titan and Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you guys want to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection, there's a list of my socials right there on the screen. Also, I need a favor. I need you guys to hit that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section on the sneaker we're about to review today. And also, if you desire really would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and one quick reminder guys if you ever wondering where I be getting my information from on sneaker drops and all that good stuff on stock numbers and all that stuff it's from my discord group that I follow this is right here on the screen family vibes discord group you are on Instagram you can inbox or uh, message the uh, account for more information if you are interested in joining and we really have fun in the discord group is really a family vibe in the group so if you want to uh, get ahead of the game and try to beat the uh, robots to get the sneaker you want for retail have a look at the family vibes discord group this is right here on Instagram message the uh, account for more information. Now today we're looking at a sneaker. It's the very first time that I have reviewed this silhouette on this channel. Uh, very expensive sneaker at retail with a little background. It's a collab with Jordan and a Colombian singer. His nickname is, or he's named the Prince of Reggaeton. Without further ado, here's the box, guys. Very vibrant colors, different boxes. The box top. See, it's Air Jordan right here. There you go. Here's the other side of the box. Let's look at the box tag. I'm gonna read it for you. See, it's Air Jordan 2 Retro SP. SP standing for special projects. Color Celestine Blue White Multi. Size 14. And y'all already know the retail price. Flip it open. We have a lot stamp right here. And also have another stamp right here. Inside the box top. Here we go with the paper. We got the logo on the paper in some clouds, and we can see the jaw jump man right there is kind of smeared. All right, flip it open. More of the logo in the Jordan jump man logo. Also, some white paper is smooth on one side and kind of rough on the other side. Let's look inside to see if we have a YDM sticker. And I do not see any YDM stickers, so this is the box, decent box. Let's get into the sneakers. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 2 J Belvin. This is his first Jordan 2 collaboration, but this is not his first uh, collaboration with Jordan. He did have the J Belvin ones. There's a picture of them on the screen. And here are the George J. Balvin 2s. Not sure what's the hype about with these, but we're gonna uh, get into it. Looking at the upper, we have some ripstop material right here in that Celestine blue colorway. And this looks very familiar, very similar to the Union LA Donk Low in the Argon colorway. This looks very familiar. See the similarities, guys? It looks just like almost identical as the rip stop on the Oregon colorway of the Union LA Dunks. Then we got some nice, a nice suede material right here on your upper end right here. Very short grain suede. It's kind of uh, smooth. And if you look close at the threading, it's that rainbow threaded. You see it's very detailed. I'm not sure if they even make thread 
rainbow color, but I'm assuming they do because to thread a sewing machine to sew this in all these different colors, the thread has to be that color. And you can see it all around the shoe, even in the indentions. But that's what you have on the upper of the sneaker. And you also have some sky blue right here with the clouds. And you have a translucent piece over the top of it to protect the material or seal it per se. The white midsole and a, a translucent blue at the very bottom which leads to the outsole. This is the outsole of the Jordan 2J Belvin. This is translucent blue. And it also is similar to the outsole of the Oregon Union LA Dunk. It's just a little darker than that. And you got your white hip right here. And it says Nike right there. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, like I said earlier, you have J Belvin's logo right here. And you have Nike up here on top of some suede. And looking at the medial side of the sneaker, more of that ripstop material up here on your upper. And you have more of that smooth, uh, sweet right here very short grand sweet almost like new buck up here on the uh, panel and going around the mud guard you have white eyelets for your laces to go through for most of your uh, laces and you have some blue plastic right here or celestine blue should I say right here on both sides of the eyelets and looking at the toe box to show you how good the suede is. Very short grain. Yes, and you have more of that short grain of suede material going up the tongue. And you can see the Jordan Wings logo is up here in white. But the strings are blocking it. Here is the top. You have a Wings logo. And it is rubberized because there's a secret behind that and here we go behind the tongue have this little logo and some clouds you got a satin sock liner it goes all around the little clouds and you can see that sizing tag on the inside size 14 production date november 17 of last year to April the 4th, I'm sorry, April the 6th of this year. See if you guys can see that. There you go, let's look at that sizing tag. Let's see what we got inside the sneaker. Come stuff with tissue. Does the insole come out? Here we go, this is what the insole looks like. See it's Air Jordan and you got the clouds on there. Not sure if it was made to come out, but I wanted to show it to you guys so you know what to look at if you are trying to get an authentic pair of these J Belvins. And here we go guys, we have a special treat. The tongue lights up guys. You can see that the tongue lights up. The Air Jordan Wings logo light up. And the very disappointing part about this whole process is that this is not rechargeable. Once the light goes out, that is it. You cannot recharge these lights. So much for this hard earned money well spent. And as you can see, it comes with these white flat laces. It also comes with additional laces. We have these greenish looking laces, like mint greenish looking laces. And we also have these blue. The blue fell off from the uh, bag, from the here. I guess doing shipping or whatever. And on the tips of these white laces, you can see there it's pink. So comment below guys, let me know what y'all think of J Belvin's 
Second collab with the Jordan brand. This is the Jordan 2J Belvin right here. And I'm gonna end the video like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.